everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I am Tushar and today I'm kicking off a brand new series which will be my ultimate PC upgrade journey. And this is going to be a four part series where we will cover why I am, you know, going for an upgrade, what other components I've chosen. In the second part, we will go through why I'm choosing a DIY route instead of going through PC builders for them to build my PC. Um, in the third part, we will actually be building the PC. And the fourth part, I will show you what to do after you've built your PC. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through my current gaming setup, uh, why I've decided that it's time for an upgrade and giving you a sneak peek into the awesome components I will be using uh, in the next build. So let's dive in. So right here, I've got my trusty Asus Stuff A15 gaming laptop, which I bought back in 2020. It's been a solid performer equipped with RTX 2060 graphics card and a Ryzen 7 4th gen processor. I've used this uh, laptop for almost five-ish years and I've used it for gaming, video, ed video editing and even content creation and it has served me really well. But now after so long, um, it's starting to show its age, especially when handling demanding games like uh, AAA title games like Black Myth Wukong. Uh, which I recently played and I was playing it on 1080, 1080 and low FPS and I was barely getting 30 frames. So, and while it still holds up for most things, I want to future proof my setup uh, with all the advancements in technology I want. I'm looking for something which has more power, better graphics, a faster storage and that brings me to the topic of today's video which is my upcoming upgrade. So I've been thinking of an upgrade for a while now and after doing a lot of research, I've settled on upgrading to a desktop PC instead of a laptop, um, specifically with the RTX 4070 Ti Super and Ryzen 7 7800X3D um, CPU. So the, bid, the budget for this build would be around 1700 to 2000 pounds. All right, so let's dive into the interesting bit, uh, the PC parts. One thing to remember is I am based in the UK. So all the parts that I will be ordering is currently from Amazon as it gave me the best deals. Uh, I checked multiple websites like Argos and other third party suppliers, but Amazon had the best value uh, for all the parts. So let's see what are the parts that I will be ordering soon. Um, so starting off with our CPU, which is the AMD Ryzen 770-800X 3D. It's very popular. The Intel processors are not really working that good. It has a few issues. So I'm going for a Ryzen and I will pair it with a Zotac RTX 4070 Ti Super. I'm going for the Zotac version because it's better value, as you can see, close to 700 pound, 770 pounds sterling. Um, other suppliers or other manufacturers of this specific graphic card were close to 900 pounds. So I would recommend Zotac only because the value or the performance of all of them, which is RTX 4070 Ti Super, will be the same. Also, I'm going for an all white theme as you would have noticed now. Um, hence this ASOS ROG Strix B650A gaming Wi-Fi motherboard, which is also white. Uh, to pair with that, I will be ordering a Corsair Vengeance 32 gigabytes of um, RAM, which is 5200 megahertz. Uh, maybe I will upgrade it to 6000 megahertz, but for now, uh, I've selected 5200 megahertz. I feel it's it's uh, it's gonna be good. Uh, to pair with that, for all my gaming and video recording, uh, it will be a 2 TB WD Black NVMe M.2 SSD. Uh, for the case, I have considered MSI Gugner, uh, which is a, a decent value, close to 90 pounds, um, because I didn't want to spend too much or, you know, an insane, insane amount on the case just for aesthetics. But also this considers that I don't want to miss out on the aesthetic. So this is a good case and I would still recommend it. For the CPU cooler for the AIO, I have, uh, I've kind of considered two options, either the two fan or the three fan. So drop your comments if you think I should order a different part compared to this. But these are the two options which I will go for either the three fan or the two fan. And to pair with that, you should always have a good PSU. So I'm going for an Corsair RM850 fully modular power supply. I'm going for the 850 version um, only because I want it to be a little future proof in case I want to upgrade 
at a later stage. Um, although RM750 would be, well, more than enough. And obviously, if you have a good gaming setup, uh, you will need a good monitor. So right now, I've just selected a GoFox 2K gaming monitor, which is 27 inch and has enough HDMI and display ports for me. So one thing that I would also recommend is if you have selected your parts, you should always check if they're compatible with each other. And to do it, you just need to go to another website. Uh, in the UK, it's called PC Part Picker, but the link will be different for you in different countries. So just select the first one. And there, if you go on the option to start your bill, then you'll see that here you can attach your components. So I'm just clicking on start your bill. I had already added all of those things. So the AMD Ryzen, Thermal Ride, uh, Thermal Ride, Frozen Warframe, uh, this was the two fan, the uh, RG Strix, all the motherboard memory, storage, everything as I've already shown you. In the case one here, I selected the NZXT H6 Flow, which was almost the same price as the MSI Gugner. So I'm considering either of those. Uh, the monitor that I was looking at on Amazon wasn't available here, so I've added this. And overall, the complete component bit comes to close to 1900 pounds. But one thing that you should check, like right now, all of my parts are compatible, which you can see over here in the compatibility section. But if I, let's say, remove this CPU from here, and if I add a different CPU, which I know will not be compatible, like, I don't know, this one probably. So let's add this. So it will give me a warning, that compatibility warning, which uh, which says that parts have potential issues. And you can always, you know, click this, see details, and it will show you what's the, what's the issue. So uh, the motherboard does not really support this. I don't know whichever CPU this is, seems pretty old. So one recommendation, always go through this website before really ordering your parts. Because A, it will tell you if uh, the parts that you've chosen are compatible. And also, if, um, and also if uh, they are the right value. So as you can see, Amazon is best for this. But for my um, AIO, Orbit is better. Or for my GPU, more, e more Coco is better. So you can look at all the options. Yeah, so do make sure that you come to this website to check the compatibility of your parts. The name of the web website is PC Part Picker and I will also link it in the description for your reference. Uh, this is not a promotion, it's just a very good website to check your compatibility of the components. And with this, we have come to an end to the first video where we have had a quick look at as to why I'm upgrading, what parts I've chosen and what I've done to ensure that they are compatible. Uh, if you are excited to see this upgrade journey unfold, make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell icon. Um, in the next one, for those who are a little skeptical to build their own PCs, there are multiple options or multiple providers that do it for you or various PC builders. So in the next one, we will go through which one has the best value. All right. Thanks for watching.